But let's find an equation of the line or lines that are tangent to the graph of the function and parallel to the given line. Okay, so you had a couple of, like these uh, actually in your free response questions for this week. The key here is that they tell you that it's parallel. They don't give you an x-coordinate like most of the problems we've been doing do. Instead, they're giving us a different piece of information. Okay, so what do we know about parallel lines? Parallel lines have the same slope. Okay, they have the same slope. So what they are giving us, instead of giving us the x-coordinate, they're giving us the slope. Okay, well, you may say, well, what do I do with it from there? If they give you the slope, in this case, if it's parallel to the line y equals 3x minus 4, then that means the slope is 3. Well, in calculus terms, slope is the derivative. Okay, slope is the derivative. So that is the value of the derivative at some x value. We need to find the x value. So let's take the derivative, f prime of x is equal to 3x squared. We know that that is equal to 3 somewhere. We need to find that somewhere. So set it equal to 3 and we're going to solve for x. So divide both sides by 3, x squared is equal to 1, take the square root, you must, must, must remember to always include the plus and minus. You must include the plus and minus. So that occurs at two places, and that's why it says find the equation of the line or lines uh, where it is parallel, because it occurs at when x is positive 1 and when x is negative 1. So now we've got our slope. We have two x-coordinates. The only thing we're missing for the equation of a line are the y-coordinates that go with those x-coordinates. So let's plug in negative 1 and positive 1 into our original function to get their y-coordinates. If we plug it into the derivative, we're going to get the slope back, or we should. Uh, negative 1 cubed is negative 1, so negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1. Positive 1 cubed is positive 1, positive 1 plus 2 is 3. So our two tangent lines are y minus 1 is equal to the slope is 3. That x coordinate was positive 1. And we've got y minus 3 is equal to 3 times x minus 1. There are two places on this curve where the tangent line is parallel to the given line. With the calculator at your disposal, you can check that. Uh, you could graph the original x cubed plus 2. That's the original function. That's my plus there, plus 2. And you can graph the tangent lines. So the easiest way to guarantee that you don't mess things up is to just move that y coordinate over. And I know these are parallel because they have the same slope, so I'm not going to worry about that uh, line that they said they were parallel to. I'm just going to check these two lines and make sure that they are tangent to my curve. And you can see that they are tangent to the curve. Yes, eventually they do end up intersecting the curve in another area, but 